Beloved, welcome to the dawning of a new day. Our God is faithful. Still looking at the book of Psalms chapter 141, our focus today is on verse 3. Scripture said, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. The place of our words in our life is very crucial. Numbers 13, 33, scripture said that the spies that went to spy the land said that they were as grasshoppers in their own sight. And because of what they said, Numbers 14, 1, the whole congregation lifted up their voice and began to cry. Because of what the people said, God brought them out of Egypt. He intended to take them into Canaan. But because of what they said with their mouth, they ended up in the wilderness. I pray today the God of heaven will teach us to speak our rights in the name of Jesus. The God of heaven will put his words in our mouth. We will speak divinely inspired words. Words of life, not words of death. Words of lifting and not words of downfall in the name of Jesus. 2 Kings 7 verse 2 The prophet said, By this time tomorrow there shall be abundance. And a man said, a, An influential man in the cabinet of the king said, This is not possible. And the prophet said unto him, You will see with your eyes, but you will not partake of it. And this is exactly what happened in 2 Kings seven twenty. The mouth of the man made his life to end on time. I pray today our words will not become a source of trap to us in the name of Jesus. Our words will not become a limiting factor to us in the name of Jesus. Despite all Job went through, in Job 19.25, he said, For I know my redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the later day upon the earth. According to his words, God showed up for him. Oh, we speak by faith today. We speak by faith today in our marriage, in our finance, in our careers, in our business, in the lives of our loved ones. Our Redeemer will show up. Our Redeemer will show up. The Lord will show up for us in the name of Jesus. No wonder David said in Psalm 19 verse 14, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. My Kapala Boskeyata, Lord, despite our condition, put the right words in our mouth. Despite the things we see, put the right words in our mouth. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Masha Payata, where we know not what to say. Help us not to speak vain words. Help us not to speak vile words. In Ezekiel 37. God said to the son of man, to the prophet Ezekiel 37 verse 3, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live? The bones were very dry. The prophet had no clue of what to say. And what did he say? He said, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Instead of him to say no, instead of him to verbalize his fears, instead of him to verbalize his ignorance, he said, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. O oh Lord, as a family, we believe that in our lives, our condition is not our conclusion. We may not know the way forward, but we know you know. And because you know, you will take us out of every pit. Because you know, you will lead us out of every complicated situation. In the name of Jesus, we know that everything we have been trusting you for is coming to manifestation in this season. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 141 verse 3, set your watch, O Lord, before our mouth. Keep the doors of our lips. Let no evil word proceed out of our mouth. Let no vile word proceed out of our mouth. Teach us to speak our right. In the name of Jesus, teach us to speak our right. In the name of Jesus, Genesis 1, the earth was without from a void. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. But God said, let there be light. He didn't say what he saw. He said what he wanted to see. Oh God, help us not to speak according to the coordinates of our situation. Help us to speak according to the certainty and assurance of your word. In the name of Jesus, every dry point in our lives is coming back. In the name of Jesus, our day is blessed. We are moving forward and the name of God will be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God praise. Hallelujah.